Hi, I'm Tanya from English Challenges, and today I have some reading tips for you. So if you saw my last post, my recommendation for this week is Dan Brown's Origin. Now I have a few tips for you since we have this wonderful coronavirus, total sarcasm, but it does allow some of you to be at home more. Now whether you're reading in English or in your native language, I want you to use it to improve your English. So some of you might not like to read in English. Maybe you don't have access to books. Maybe it, you just kind of don't feel like it, <laughs> which is totally fine. But there is a way to use reading in any language to improve your English. Okay, so for example, the book Origin, if you're reading in English, wonderful, you're absorbing the vocabulary and you know my number one tip. If it's in English, get the audiobook and the digital or physical book. So, well, right now, if you don't have, you know, delivery because of the virus, um, get the digital book. And the cool thing is when you have the audio with the Kindle or the digital, whatever form you use, uh, it highlights as it reads. So this helps you read more fluidly and start training your brain to understand for context. And it also makes you read a little faster, which means it doesn't feel boring. So that would be my number one tip. So the audiobook with the book. Next thing is create a moment, create uh, a world more so than a moment. So whether you're reading it, a book in English or in your native language, find resources in English, go on YouTube, find interviews with the author talking about the book, um, find videos about the city that the book is set in. Um, so you kind of travel through it. If it's got any food, find the recipe for some food mentioned and cook it. So create this world around the book that you're reading. Now, if you want an example of this, I just posted a blog. So englishchallenges.com slash blog. And the first one that, that you'll see there, I put all these resources together. So for example, in this book, it's set in Spain. So I have some travel videos. I have an interview with Dan Brown talking about how God and artificial intelligence combine in this book and why he did it. I have the website for the Guggenheim Bilbao Museum so you can take a virtual tour, right? Isn't that cool? So you can take things from books, whether whatever language it's in, supplement it with English resources, create a visual world, an audio world. I also have a link to an article with the audio so you can listen to it as you're reading it about Dan Brown's choices in the books and stuff like that. So whatever book you're reading in whatever language, you can use it to activate your English. Now the final tip, the biggest one is whatever language you're reading in, whenever you stop reading, so let's say you read one chapter, five, 20, whatever, record yourself talking about those chapters. So do the one minute challenge, set the timer for one minute and talk about whatever you've read. And if you do that several times and depending on how long it takes you to read the book, you're activating everything that you're learning. So if you're reading in English, then you have the vocabulary you can pull from. If you're reading in your native language or in a different language and you don't know what the word is in English, then you just Google it, look it up while you're talking about it. Now the trick to really activating the language and maximizing this experience when you're recording yourself, try to talk about the book. So try to talk about what you liked, maybe what you thought, ask questions out loud. Don't report about the book because that will put you in a very academic English mode. And you wanna activate your real life English. So pretend that you're talking to someone and say, oh my God, in these chapters that I just read, you know, Robert Langdon, da 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 da. Relax your shoulders, use casual language, use your hands if that's something that you do. And then look at the recording when you're finished the one minute and look to see if your facial expression and your body language match the topic, your enthusiasm, your confusion, like whatever it is, this will help you develop really, really amazing advanced communication skills. Cause it's not just what we say. Sure. If you want to listen to see if you made any preposition mistakes or stru sentence structure, but more than anything, how did you actually communicate? And that's more than just the language. Okay, so I hope those tips helped. If you wanna read Origin with me, so I'm reading it right now with a student, um, you know, get the book and go get the blog post. Look at all the resources. Remember, create the world. For example, this book is set in 
I think four cities in Spain. So go the next level, look up a recipe for paella or Spanish rice or something cool and cook it and then learn about what music they play in those regions and listen to it. Like this is where you can create moments, especially right now when things are kind of crazy if you live in an area affected by the coronavirus or any point in your life to create this other universe, this escape where you make reading your passion, something that you want. And again, this is an effective method whether you're reading in English or your native language. If you're not ready to read a full book in English, it's okay, don't. But do everything else in English and you'll see that your communication skills and your thought and your vocabulary, everything will grow and develop in a really organic way. And feel free to tell me in the comments what books you're reading, what things you like to do to create your universe around your books. I am dying to hear from you. And also just let me know how you're doing, if you're okay. Bye.